you. Well, many breast cancer patients can skip chemotherapy without hurting their chances of beating the disease. That's according to the largest study ever done concerning breast cancer. Now, the results are expected to spare up to 70,000 patients a year in the U.S. and around the world from the ordeal and expense of treatment drugs. The research studied how to treat women with early stage breast cancer who responded to hormone therapy. The results were discussed at a cancer conference in Chicago this weekend and published in the New England Journal of Medicine. So here with me this morning to explain what this study means for patients is Dr. Ray Lynn from Scripps Health. Thank you so much for joining Thank us, you. Dr. Thank Lynn. you for having me. So tell us about this study because this is really exciting, sparing patients from chemotherapy. Well, the Taylor X study is the largest uh, NCI-sponsored breast cancer study in the United States. And it's very exciting because it tells us and it confirms to us that most patients with early stage hormone-sensitive lymph nodes negative breast cancer could avoid chemotherapy and not compromise their survival. Right, and we know, unfortunately, what comes along with chemotherapy, it just suppresses the immune system and leaves you open to all sorts of other problems. Sure, chemotherapy is a systemic treatment. The drug goes through the body, patients lose their hair from breast cancer, they could get and does suppress the bone marrow and immune system. So avoiding chemotherapy is a big win for patients. Yeah, so who, I mean, you mentioned, so HER2 negative, early stage, that's really yes. what we're focusing HER2 on HER2 new negative, early stage, lymph node negative breast cancer, patients with smaller tumors, less than five centimeters in size. What the study involved was using what's called a genomic assay. It's an Oncotype DX study. It looks at the gene of the patient's tumor, it looks at the expression of 21 genes. And based on these 21 genes, we can get a score for patients' risk of recurrence. It's a score between 0 and 100. And patients are um, given a score of a low risk, medium risk, or high risk for breast cancer recurrence. We've used this study for almost a decade at Scripps Health. And we know that patients with high risk score benefit from chemo. Patients with low risk score may not benefit from chemo, but for two-thirds of the patients, they get what's called this intermediate score. And we haven't known for years and years whether these patients would benefit chemotherapy or not. And this study answers the question. So what are some of the options? If they're not getting chemotherapy and, and they can still benefit from treatment, what are those treatment options? The treatment is basically endocrine therapy. The study randomizes patients into getting chemotherapy with endocrine therapy or endocrine therapy alone for patients with what's called an intermediate Oncotype DX recurrence score. And we found that over 10,000 women enrolling in this study, we found that um, patients are alive and well over 93% at nine years, whether they got chemotherapy or not. Wow. So that's exciting. That's exciting. Yeah, they don't it's have to go through through all of that. So when we're when we're talking, I mean, this is a very kind of narrow window when we look at the big spectrum of cancer. Is it likely that this type of study will be done and we can see that there may be other cancers that yes. don't require chemo? Absolutely. Actually, there's another study coming out uh, called the Responder Trial. This is also a very similar study asking the same for patients with one to three lymph node involvement for breast cancer. And there's also genomic tests for other, other cancers as well these days. So it's really exciting. It's a big win for patients, clinicians, researchers, and also for individualized genomic medicine. Because every tumor is different, right? You, you hear every that a lot. And, and you have to treat specifically to the individual. And that's what we're starting to see now more instead of going in with this big blanket of chemotherapy and wiping everything out. Right. It's an individual treatment we take the patient's DNA analyze their risks uh, for recurrence and we can make a decision based on that now I do note that in this trial um, the patients who uh, really don't don't need chemotherapy are postmenopausal women with early stage breast cancer there is some study there's some data to suggest that the premenopausal younger women with a higher range of intermediate score between 16 and 25 Oncotype DX those patients still may benefit from chemotherapy so when you get the score, you need to have a discussion with your oncologist to see your risk for breast cancer recurrence, whether you would benefit from additional treatments. So a lot of people who were enrolled in this study were patients at MD Anderson, a big powerhouse yes. um, in cancer care, which Scripps is now 
tied yes, into. Partnering with, yeah, well, the Scripps MD Anderson program will be officially opening in the early fall. This is a here very, in San Diego. Here in San Diego at Scripps Health. It's very exciting. We're very excited uh, for this. It allows patients in Southern California to enroll in um, MD Anderson's nationally renowned um, trials and protocols. So patients here in San Diego and Southern California could get the same treatment that they would get in Houston at MD Anderson, which is the world's leading cancer center. Yeah. Great news, exciting results from this study. Dr. Lynn, thank you so much for sharing it with us this morning. Well, thank you for having me. Appreciate it.